space essentially is um, for you to walk into something that would be, that is the most intimate part of a woman's body. This vagina, which starts screaming and laughing at you, is actually screaming and revolting against the space within which it's contained. So it's a political statement against that space that once stifled this woman. And it's now saying, this yoni or this vagina, which comes to represent femininity, is revolting. The work itself is uh, structured in a way that you are completely contained and consumed by it, and it completely contains and consumes the space within which it is built, and it's built in the former woman's jail. So the idea is that in the former woman's jail you have this massive vagina that takes over the space. The art exhibition which has got people's tongues wagging. The two talking yonis comprises three exhibitions using a display, photography and paintings to express the notion of feminine energy and identities in a patriarchal society. Artist Reshma Chiba says her Hindu-inspired work suggests women need to be proud of their bodies. It's about looking at the idea of the vagina or the yoni as a space of female power. And this really stems from research that I've done over the years, looking at the Hindu goddess Kali, um, who I have researched and looked at and represented as a form of female defiance. But the exhibition has received some harsh responses. Um, I find it a little bit absurd. I think it's absurd, obscene, and only people, I don't even call them artists, do things, these kind of things that want publicity, that's all. Things that are supposed to be uh, uh, private, she's bringing it out into the open. I think it's just grading to women. She has made the mockery of my grandmother, my mother, my wife and my sisters. And she must stop saying it empowers women. The artist says she welcomes criticism. Uh, if you, after you look at it and you don't like it, that's fine. You're allowed to draw your conclusion, but at least make an effort to engage with it before judging it. A young girl viewing the exhibition says Chiba's artwork is deeply moving. I, I get to see different parts of myself that I myself even cannot express. Like there's one picture of, in there of a woman menstruating on the ground. You know, it just shows how earthly we are, you know, how we, we, we can connect with things like the moon. The earth, like we are in connection. I mean, woman, being woman itself is intense, you know, so seeing such things, how it's not intense at all. The different parts of the exhibition end between the 25th and 31st of August. Reynard Serene, Eyewitness News, Bromfontein. Eyewitness News, in touch, in tune, and independent. For the latest, log on to ewn.co.za or ewn.mobi.